There's a lot of things to love about living here and working here. It's happy, it's a joyful place. It feels like everyone's rooting for you. Born and raised here, I've spent my whole life in Eagle River. I, I love the area, it's, it's great. I mean, hunting and fishing opportunities, the, the community's great, it's, it's a great place to live. There's a reason why people come to vacation here. I always referred to here as home. I grew up in Conover, went to Northland Pines, went to college at UW-Stout. I was an art director in the entertainment department at SeaWorld, and I was there for 24 years. But when COVID hit and the parks kind of shut down, I was furloughed and decided that, you know what, it might be time to come home. We have three children, three boys, and we lived in a very small condo. And so we actually visited my parents in the Northwoods and uh, we were like, huh, maybe we should just move here. Ha 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 ha. And about six weeks later, we arrived and we just gave up everything out there and moved here. The big draw was that feeling of community. And I think I, I really realized that, you know, we're a small town up here in Lando Lakes, but what we lack in, in population, we're really mighty with supporting local businesses and supporting local community members. I can't tell you how many times someone from this community has gone out of their way to help us grow or help us in any way that they can. Well, we were in the Three Lakes Diner and I was the manager of that and then that burned down. And we were looking for a bakery in the Three Lakes area, but there was nothing available over there. And then I heard about this one coming up for sale. My daughter wanted to go into the baking business. She's a baker. So I said, well, if we do this, you gotta do baking. <laughs> So here we are. We feel super blessed that this has worked out with um, Amelia and myself, my daughter, because this is where we live. This is our property. We share the dogs, we share the property, and we share the business. It's just been amazing for two years now. <laughs> We were just kind of like, what if Sportsman's ever came for sale? Because biggest like deal a total pipe dream. ever for Complete Adam. Complete pipe dream. We're located just north, uh, about six or seven minutes north of Manitouche Waters. It's a place that I've been coming to since the late 80s. Started offering it in the Eagle River area just as a, almost a side hustle and just kind of blew up on me. It's, I didn't anticipate it to, to get this big this quick, but it's been wonderful. I, I don't take on jobs every day because each event is important and it requires my full attention. So the beautiful part about being a remote worker and entrepreneur is I do have local clients and I have clients in California, in Toronto, and Canada, in Florida. So again, the internet makes the whole world available. It was a really intense year, but we just feel super blessed. It's just been an awesome place. And a cool thing to really uh, have, our, have our kids watch the whole process of how do you chase after something that seems super crazy, buying a motel in northern Wisconsin when you live four hours south of there. And how are we gonna do something like that? And how are we gonna do, run the day to day? Really, it's worked out really quite well. One of the big question marks for me from moving my practice from a really busy suburban community to a really small community here was, you know, is there gonna be enough population to support my business and yeah our business over the last two years has exponentially grown a lot bigger than I, I would have imagined. I mean we still have room for growth as a new business but where we're at today versus where I thought we would be we're definitely above that. I've gotten pictures of when we're closed dogs sitting outside in front of the door like wanting to come in. <laughs> Eagle River Pet Company is a pet boutique and spa. Right now we're just dog and cat products, but we've had a lot of you know feedback from people that have other types of pets too. So if we could expand and you know expand into different types of animals and be able to offer more for people, we'd love to do that. You know, they said after uh, Labor Day it'll slow down, but it hasn't. <laughs> and then after Cranberry Fest it'll slow down, but it hasn't. And I'm thankful, I'm so thankful because I do have people on the payroll. You know, there's a lot of people that depend on me for the support of their family, so. Thank you, have a sweet day.